uh, a country shuffle doing C, F, C, G. C, F, C, G. Just that over and over. One more. Okay, next up we are going to do the same uh, beat pattern, the country shuffle, at 150 beats per minute uh, using the chords D, G, D, A. Here we go. Okay, next up in the ukulele calisthenics. Uh, and don't worry, folks, we are having a play along shortly. This is just the countdown. We're just warming up a little bit. We're trying something new during the countdown, and that's warming up. So uh, this time we're going to do the G and A string together. We're going to kind of pinch those together. And then we're going to do the, the C and the E string together. Pinch those. And then we're going to alternate those back and forth. So in the key of F. And that's it. So we're going to do this 100 beats per minute in a straight beat. Um, so not a swing beat, just a straight beat. And uh, that's it in the key of F. So we're going to do F, B flat, F, C. F, B flat, F, C. Over and over. Are you ready? Here we go.
Okay, the last little bit today uh, for our warm up. Again, we're having a play along that's going to start in just a few minutes. Um, is a little ukulele warm up. We're going to do some good old fashioned Travis picking. That would be the G string, then the A string. We're going, going to pick those strings. G string, then the A string, then the C string, then the E string. It's going to sound like this. We're going to do this in the key of C. So it's like this. And we're just going to do C, F, C, G. Just like we started out in the very beginning of our, our, our warm up countdown. So here we go. Let's get a little drum beat. It's a, it's a straight beat. It's 100 beats per minute. It goes a little something like that. One, two, three, four. All right, so that is it, folks. Um, thanks so much. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that gets your fingers warm and ready to go. Um, we're going to play this periodically um, instead of countdown music, um, just to give you an opportunity to uh, warm up while we're counting down. So now let's start the show. I hope you had a good weekend, uh, but I had a really good weekend. Uh, I was up in Pennsylvania. There was a ukulele festival called Funky Frets, and I went up to attend that and just saw some of the best people on the planet. Um, and I'm not just talking about the people who were performing. I'm just talking about ukulele friends that uh, I met through all of this. And uh, now we run into each other at festivals, and it's just an absolute blast. So... We'll be playing some of the uh, songs tonight. Um, it, it's going to be kind of fun. We're going to play some songs that were recorded. I knew what the set list was going to be for tonight. Um, so we're going to play some of those songs that I recorded um, with some very fun and friendly and talented people uh, up, in, uh, up in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Um, so that's going to be fun. Um, we're going to have a lot of, a lot of group stuff. Um, not a lot of me tonight, um, but a lot of just fun songs and a lot of songs with people, which is 
one of the great things about ukulele. Anyway, it was great to see a lot of you. A lot of you I did get to see up in uh, Pennsylvania. So uh, that was a blast. I mean, we just had some fun. All right. So let's see here. Um, we'll start with song one. If you're new, welcome. Glad you are here. Um, we do this. Um, when we do this, we have, uh, we have scrolling chords and lyrics. So you'll see that in just a minute. Um, you can also download those chords and lyrics a couple different places. Um, if you create a free Patreon account, um, you can get them from there now. I started doing that, but you can also access them from, from Dropbox. Um, so both of those work. And uh, we chat. If Be social. If you haven't said hello in the chat yet, please do. Uh, this is a really great community, really friendly people. You're going to find that you probably know someone or live near someone or grew up in the same town as someone. Um, it's just a lot of fun. So don't be afraid to say hi. Um, we are very inclusive um, here for sure. So we're going to start like this. This is what the chords and lyrics look like. I'm going to play some drums on this. Um, you know what? So I've, I'm doing the drums slightly different tonight, and I'll explain why later. Normally I have the drums going through a mixer and straight out. Right now I have the drums playing actually actually here in the room. You can like sit in the drum. So it sounds like a real drummer next to me instead of just um, drums in my earphones. So it might sound a little bit different. Um, and we'll probably just do this. This won't be a regular thing, but we have to do it tonight for a couple of reasons. So we're gonna do a, some drums on this. Let's start vamping on C. Ready? We're just gonna vamp on C. Just play a C chord and keep up with that beat. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Right? Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? When you see the green, the green means we're only playing uh, chords. We're not singing over the green. And you'll see that in some of the songs where there's like a musical break. Are you ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. C7, F, and then C. Some bright morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore.
to a land where joys will never end. I'll fly away, singing. I'll fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away when I die. Hallelujah, bye and bye. I. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. Woo! All right, I heard some comments. I, I like the drum sound better in a room like that. Stephen, really? Well, that's interesting. You know, it might work out better if you all think that's okay. I heard someone say they liked it the other way. Um... The benefit for me is I don't actually have to wear headphones when they're in the room. Um, when they're coming through the mixer, I do have to wear headphones. I would much rather not wear headphones. So maybe, maybe, maybe. All right. So that is song number one. We have eight more songs. We're going to hopefully finish by eight o'clock. Kind of a new, not really a policy, because the policies are kind of a <laughs> kind of weak here. Um, oh, but for this, I do need to put the headphones back in. Okay, so I mentioned Funky Fritz. I blast. It was a fantastic festival. Um, I was planning, just with some folks that I knew up there, um, to to do some recordings. And uh, day one went by, day two went by. I'm still thinking about like, man, it's packed. The schedule is packed. So finally, like the very last night, um, I, uh, there were still some people around. So uh, you'll see them in just a moment. Um, fun people. And uh, we did this, we did one take of each of these songs. So, but, but they really turned out good. This one was fun. Um, the, the last song, it's not the last song of the night, but, uh, towards the end of this, we're going to play another one. And it, it turned out awesome. Really had a fun with that. So here we go. Uh, let me go real quick here just to, so you can see the song, you can see the chords. Um, I think I have these in the right key. I don't think I changed the key of this song up there. If so, I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> All right. So here is the gang. I'll introduce them uh, when it's done. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch over. It's a pre-recorded thing, again, from a group up at Funky Fritz. Um, and uh, I'll switch over to that in just a second. And then the chords and lyrics will start scrolling. Okay? All right, here it goes. Ready? Sorry. All right, one, two, three, four. That's my cousin Barrow in the marketplace. Molly is a singer in the band. That's my cousin Molly, girl, I like your face. And Molly says this as she takes her by the hand. Oh, bloody, oh, bloody. Charlie to the Julius 
screen well it's a little block but if you look at the screen uh there's me but uh, we'll go from uh, left to right um next over is katie thomas i just saw her uh, make a comment um in the facebook comments um katie lives in the in the in the uk in uh, gloucester and uh, she flew over from there um to go to this festival and i have known katie online for years and that was the first chance i got to meet katie and it was just Awesome. Katie, you are awesome. I uh, can't say it enough. You are just such a smile. You could see watching her sing. Um, just so happy and it was just such a blast. Um, I got to spend a lot of time um, with Katie this weekend. Um, and she has purple hair. Um, so she's very colorful. Hello, Katie. Um, next over is the incredibly talented Michael August. Um, normally he's playing one of like 15 different instruments that he played, uh, but he just came up and, uh, and sang and uh, he doesn't think so, but he's got a cool voice and uh, added a lot to that. So Michael August, fun guy, um, right there in the middle there, kind of down low is Diane Poole and she is a blast. If you ever want to stay up late and or, or just not get any sleep at all, uh, make friends with Diane and uh, she can she can arrange that for you. Next is Terry Bransma, um, who helps out with the show, um, helps out with the Jam at Gents page. Um, really nice guy. He picked me up from the airport. So Terry, you are awesome. And he runs also now a, a business. It's called Terry's Aloha Shirts. I am now, tonight I'm wearing one of those. I have several of Terry. He doesn't make the shirts, but he sells the shirts. And they're really good shirts. And then Charlotte. Uh, Charla Weens, um, and I think many of you would know Charla. She has done collabs, and she's becoming quite uh, the ukulele celebrity. And I saw her in the comments, too. Oh, she's right there. Um, still on a sugar high, Charla says. So uh, it's fun. We've got one more from this group um, a little bit later, but I uh, wanted to introduce those folks to you because they're just good people. I want you to know them if you don't already know them. All right, um, so if you're new to newer um, to ukulele, let me take these out. If you're newer to ukulele, um, you probably like like two chord songs or three chord songs. Um, and sometimes if you see a song with um, more than that, you might get a little bit of ukulele anxiety. So I'm going to show you this next song. Don't freak out and don't give up. Um, if you can't play this song yet, yet is the key word. Um, because a lot of these, you might know, you've just never seen them all in, in one song like this. So I'm only going to really talk about one chord here. Um, but, but look at these. One of the things about this software, I am always often asked, can I scroll the keep the chords like on the side while the, the lyrics scroll, it would make the lyrics real small for one, but two, the software doesn't support that. They might do something someday. Um, what I would say is if you're new to the uke, get a chord chart and have it sitting next to you because you'll go to a lot of meetups, a lot of jams, a lot of festivals, and they, they'll do it like this. You won't see the chords the whole song. So you'll learn these chords and you won't think much about it, but I know the learning process, you want to, you know, you want to have visibility as to what all the chords are. So the F sharp diminished seven, I think I talked about this last week. So it looks very intimidating there, right? I think that looks kind of intimidating, but here's, so make a G, make a G shape, just the first position G, right? G. <clears throat> Now take that, is the A minor look weird? No, that looks no, oh, oh, the other, the big AM. Oh, I need to fix that. I think that's a mistake. 
that's a mistake. Um, but let's talk about F sharp diminished seven. So make a G. Now move that whole shape just up one string towards your chin, right? Now you've made three fourths of the 75% for all you numeric people. Um, you've made, with a chord shape you already know, you've made most of that F sharp diminished seven. And let's say you just did that and you didn't have time to get your pinky down on that A string because that's all you're doing. You're putting your pinky where you would normally play the C chord. So you're playing a G chord, a G shape, not a G chord, but a G shape, up one string towards your chin, and then you're dropping your pinky right there. So it looks awful complicated, but it's, it's, it's not once you've played it a few times. But again, no one's going to lose any sleep if you make the G chord and don't get your pinky down in time. Or maybe you get your pinky down in time halfway through the strum of that chord. But that's a way to play F sharp diminished 7. Um, yeah? Does that make sense? No, I think that's just my mistake on A minor. That must just say A. I, don't, I have to look at that. I haven't noticed that mistake before. Okay, so... We'll just do go through the enter real quick. Right? So we're going to be like down, down, up, down, down, up. It's not full island strums. It's going to go something like this. Here's the F sharp diminished 7. Ready? Make that G. Drop your pinky. One more time. Because that's probably the hardest part of this song because it kind of goes fast and they're kind of all those chords are kind of squished together. So here we go. One more time. Okay, wonderful. Now we're gonna start this for real. We're gonna do the intro one more time once I start the scrolling, and then we're just gonna, we're going to go into verse one. All right, are you ready? Here we go. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me When the road looks rough ahead And you're miles and you're miles From your nice warm bed You just remember what your old pal said Boy, you got a friend in me You got a friend in me got a friend in me you got a friend in me you've got troubles well I got them too there isn't anything I wouldn't do for you we stick together we can see it through boy you got a friend in me you got a friend in me some of the folks might be a little bit smarter than I am Bigger and stronger too, maybe But none of them will ever love me the way I do It's me and you, Bob And as the years go by Our friendship will never die you're gonna see it's our destiny You got a friend in me You got a friend in me You got a friend in me Hello 
Jane Cole. It is better late than never, for sure. Okay, so if that is a challenge, right, for those uh, that are newer to Uke, then uh, that's your stretch goal, right? That's a song you can aspire to play. And it's not as hard as it looks. That F sharp diminished seven, practice that. A couple times I didn't get my pinky down at the very start of the chord and halfway through I got my pinky and you know, it's okay. It is all right. Um, one thing to mention, um, there's lots of music festivals. Um, in uh, August of next year, there is a Music City um, Ukulele Festival. Um, it's in Nashville. And uh, Little Rev is going to be there. Tiki Dave is going to be there. I'm going to be there. Um, Danny Joy and Perry Stoffer are going to be there. All those folks have actually been guests on the show, which is, which is amazing. Um, we've been really lucky um, to have just super talented people. But uh, check it out. Music City Uke Fest, Nashville. If you want to double up and take a fun trip to Nashville, Nashville is a great town. Wonderful town. All right, here we go. Um, fan strum. If you've never heard of a fan strum, fan strum is sort of like it says you're fanning out your fingers. And you're doing it from your pinky out. So you gotta practice getting your fingers up in this order. Pinky, ring, middle, pointer. And you're brushing those across the strings. So instead of hitting each string one time, you're hitting each string four times. So instead of sounding like this, it sounds like this. Right? And you can do just a regular island strum. I am doing a combination of adding a fan strum to the second, the second down in an island strum. So in an island, you have down, down, up, up, down, up. I'm going down, fan, up, up, down, up. Down, fan, up, up, down, up. And it just sounds like this. Can dance, right? It just sounds nice with some songs. Um, so let's get the lyrics up and let's do this song. Why don't we? You can dance every dance with the guy who gave you the eye, let him hold you tight. You can smile. Every smile for the man who held your hand neath the pale moonlight. But don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms you're gonna be. So darling, save the last dance for me. Oh, I know. That the music's fine, like sparkling wine. Go and have your fun. Yes, I know, oh, I know. Laugh and sing, but while we're apart, don't give your heart to anyone. But don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms you're gonna be. So, darling, say the last dance for me. Don't you know I love you so? Can you feel it when we touch? I will never ever let you go. I love you oh so much. You can dance, go and carry on till the night is gone and it's time to go. You the ass. If you're all alone, can he take you home? You must tell him no. But don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms you're gonna be. So darling, say the last dance for me. But don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms you're gonna be. 
So darling, save the last dance for me. Who save the last dance for me? Oh, save the last dance for me. All right. Okay. What number was that? Was that song number four? You know, at the very beginning of the show, I put this in the promotion, and I meant to say at the very beginning, um, that we were going to have um, a really talented guest stop by um, to teach us a little strum, lead a little song with that strum. Um, we have had her on the show before, um, and she's actually going on the T-Bug Cruise, which is a ukulele cruise next month, in about a month, out of Tampa. It's sold out. I believe it's sold out. It's been sold out for a little while. Um, but Chrissy is one of the performers on that. So she's really rhythmic on the uke. I mean, she just comes up with these very in, in, inventive ways to add a lot of percussions, like a chuck, that sound. She blends in and does it extremely well. So um, let me introduce and turn it over to Chrissy. Um, if you want to find her on uh, YouTube, or Facebook, or Instagram, or any of those places. Um, look for Chrissy Ukulele. All right, so Chrissy, are you ready? All right, here's Chrissy. Hi everyone, hey Greg. It's been a minute. Thanks for having me on the Ukulele Gent. It's great to be back. I'm gonna be showing you a strumming pattern that I came up with. I made up for the song Jamaica Farewell by Harry Belafonte. This is gonna work best if you've got a ukulele that has a low G on it. So if you do have one, go grab it. Um, it's gonna be a lot uh, nicer because you've got that kind of bassy sound and the resonant sound. Uh, if not, it doesn't really matter because you'll still learn the technique anyway. So the chords to this, we've got G, we've got C, and we've got D7. All right, I'm gonna play it through for you first and then what we're gonna do is break it down. So this is what it sounds like when it's all put together. All right, let's start off with just the G chord. And what we're gonna be doing is uh, plucking that fourth string and then we're going to use our middle finger to accentuate each of the strings so we don't want to just strum the strings we kind of want to emphasize it a little bit like so you hear each of the notes okay let's try it a couple times pluck that fourth string change to the other chords I still want you to do exactly the same thing so I still want you to pluck that fourth string and then use your middle finger to strum okay we're gonna go to C now we're gonna go to D7 and then back to G all right let's add in the other parts which is a little bit trickier we're gonna be doing some up strums and once you've done the up strums I want you to use your hand to stop it ringing to dampen the sound we're going to do two of those ups, up strums where we dampen the sound and then the third one we let it ring all right let's put it all together so up dampen up dampen and then up ring let's try again and again Don't overcomplicate it, you're just using your hand just to dampen the sound and stop it ringing. All right, if we put it all together, we're going to be plucking the fourth string and do that accentuated strum, and then we do up, up, and ring. All right, a little bit faster this time, and one more time. Okay, we're going to move on to the C chord, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Again. Then we're going to move to D7. And again. And then back to G. All right, 
you ready? Greg's gonna get the music up for us and we're gonna play along. I love this song, I, I, it's just so feel good and it just makes me wanna get on a boat cruise, which we're gonna be doing at the end of the year, right? We're gonna be on the Tampa Bay ukulele boat cruise. It's gonna be a lot of fun, I can't wait for that. All right, let's do it everybody. I'm gonna play through the intro first. Uh, you've got the sheet music there, so I'll go through the intro and then I'm gonna play through the song. Sing along if you're at home. social media if you'd like to under Chrissy Ukulele that's Chrissy with a C C H R I S S Y Ukulele on all the social media channels and for those of you who are coming on the Tampa Bay Uke Cruise I'll see you there and I'll see you there Greg all right ciao for now awesome awesome thank you so much Chrissy so you heard how to how to find her um, check her out. She really, you could tell, right? I see a couple comments about the, the great strum. Um, you know, and those strums are a little tricky when, you've, when you're doing that the first time, right? When you're so used to an island strum. Um, I've told this to others. Sometimes what I would do is work on the strum, right? Just work on getting that strum down. Record the strum. Play through a verse. You know, so play the strum with the chord changes. Um, record it and then go back and just sing along with it. And it, it does help a lot of people because it starts to, your brain starts to figure out like, ah, okay, I know what my voice should be doing and where it should be coming in in relation to the strum. So that might not work, but for many, um, uh, I've been told that that works uh, really well. So practice that strum, it's, it's awesome. Very cool strum, very cool. All right, so we have another um, sort of someone stopping by. We are going to do the song Walking After Midnight. And we talked about this up in Pennsylvania. And it's kind of a, it's not necessarily a woman's singing this. I mean, there's nothing in there. I just feel funny because it's such a Patsy Cline, you know, classic. And uh, I'm always used to, I could not do the song justice. So anyway, um, so we have Amy. Amy is stopping by and she is going to sing this. So there's the chords there. And let me turn this over um, to Amy. All right, we're gonna scroll in just a second to so get ready. Here goes. Here's Amy. One, two, three, four. After midnight out in the moon 
like we used to do when Paul was walking after midnight searching for you. I walk for miles along the highway. Well, that's just my way of saying I love you. I'm always walking. I'm searching for you I stop to see a weeping willow Crying on his pillow Maybe he's crying for me And as the skies turn gloomy Night winds whisper to me yanked me in right at the end there. Uh, that is Amy and uh, lovely voice. Lovely, lovely, lovely Amy. You did a fantastic job. Um, we, I, I wasn't planning on all this variety. It's, we got a lot of variety um, tonight and we got more coming. Um, but next week, I want to talk about next week while we've got everyone watching. Um, we have a collaboration special next week and the collaboration specials are a blast. They're, they're all pre-recorded. Don't let that scare you. It's 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 fun, and people who are part of Wednesdays, people who you know tune in and, and play along and socialize, um, I, I collaborated with them to create, I think, eleven songs. Um, so they're very you know, I'd say they're more elaborate than me just playing the uke. Right? There's parts and bass players and drums and a lot of different things. Um, so I played this last week, but I'm going to play this again just so you can see. Um, why you must, must uh, tune in uh, next week. That's October 18th. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a play along. It's going to have scrolling chords and lyrics for sure. Um, but it's going to uh, be collaborations uh, with a bunch of folks who are part of this Wednesday community. So here is a, a little teaser for that. Every highway let me slip away Slip away on you when, when we sway I go weak I can hear the sounds of violins Life I, I love, love you all is groovy Sound of the ocean rocks me on I long Slipped into his cave. Pop the magic dragon. Oh, sweet Caroline. Oh, oh, oh. Good times never seem so good. So good, so good, so good. No, oh, can the circle be unbroken? By and by, Lord. I go. 
Yes, so I think you probably recognized uh, a lot of those people. So tune in next week, October 18th, 7 o'clock Eastern. Uh, it is going to be a lot of fun. Um, the, next, uh, the next song is another um, Pennsylvania creation um, with uh, Sharla, um, Michael August, Diane Poole, Katie Thomas. Mm, did I forget somebody? I hope not. Um, but we did Lion Sleeps tonight, and I, we had a blast. Um, and again, it was one take. Um, we didn't have a whole lot of time and it was late and we didn't want to wake people at the hotel. So we did these, we did these very efficiently. Um, so let me go over here. Lion sleeps tonight. Um, that is, uh, what we're doing. I changed the key. So I'm, I'm singing really low in this one. Um, but it enabled everyone to do the amazing things, um, uh, that they did harmonies and uh, melodies and. And it's so anyway, this is the song Key of F, Lion Sleeps Tonight. And here is um, this group from from Pottstown, Pennsylvania. It's uh, The Lion Sleeps Tonight. Right, here, we go. here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Once again, that's Charlotte Wayne. I forgot Terry Bransma. How could I forget Terry Bransma? Terry's awesome. Um, so once again, uh, that's Charlotte. It's Diane Poole. It's Katie Thomas. It's Michael August. It's uh, Terry Bransma, um, and that was a lot of fun. Um, I really, I know, you know, we had COVID. Uh, a lot of people took up the ukulele during that time, right? And you know, played from their home. So it started for many as a very isolated thing. They learned about groups like this online and started playing. But, you know, if you have the chance um, to get out and whether it's your library or your senior center or a festival, a ukulele festival, um, I really encourage if it's a neighbor, if it's a friend in town that you can play ukulele with, I really, truly would encourage that. Um, I've had some of the best um, the best fun um, with people made friends that I never thought I would make friends over the you know, ukulele and it's just amazing um, so I would say Katie Thomas everybody say good night to Katie Thomas she stayed up very late um, to watch this so Katie thank you again it was great meeting you I'm glad we got to see you um, up in Pennsylvania and uh, sleep 
Sleep well, KB Thomas. All right. So, uh, there's a knock at my door. That's, uh, that's unusual. I don't see that very often. Hey, Greg. Okay, the door was open. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's Wednesday night. It, you'll, anybody will walk in. Anybody will just walk in if the door is unlocked. Yeah, you, I'm still in your kamaka. Ah. Hey, everybody. This is my uh, my cousin Brad. And my cousin Greg. Um, let me scoot over a little bit so we have some playing room. Um, and uh, this, this portion of the show is brought to you by Terry's Aloha Shirts. That's right. Our sponsor. <laughs> Thank you, Terry Brown's mom. Yes, and thank you, Terry Bransman. Do you need a shirt? See Terry Bransman? Yes. <laughs> They'll be at a festival soon near you. What are you playing? Yeah, so we got two more songs, and uh, we are going to play those with Brad here. All right? Okay, Shirley says hi, Brad. Donna hi, says hi, hi, Brad. Hi, Donna. Hi, everybody. So Brad lives in North Carolina, um, and he's down here in Florida, fishing and shrimping and driving and... Stop and playing you. All right. Oh, I. Uh, oh no, I don't need these. Were you taking those out for me? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm never. I'm not used to that sort of uh, personal attention <laughs> while I'm up here on Wednesdays. <laughs> never had anyone fiddle around with my earplugs while I'm talking before. All right. <laughs> um, we're going to do two songs. The first of those two songs is. Uh, there it is. Have you ever seen the rain? We're going to do both of these with some uh, percussions. And it's raining. Is it raining? Did you, did, so Brad was trying to talk to me. Okay, so <laughs> let, me go back, let me go back to the last song real quick. Um, when Lion Sleeps Tonight did not scroll at the beginning when it should, it's because I was my head was turned and I was talking to Brad. So it's not Brad's fault, it's my fault. Um, anyway. <laughs> it really was my fault. Okay, here we go. So you ever seen the rain? We're going to do this with some drums. Wait. Nope. Nope, not those drums. Uh, one second. Let me go to this. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, I got to change the beat, drum beat because we don't want to do uh, Have You Ever Seen the Rain quite that fast. So one second. should sound a little better. Yes, that sounds a little bit more like Have You Ever Seen the Rain? All right, so here's the, here's the lyrics for you. Deidre, yeah, I had to fight. I had to twist Kendra and, uh, no, I'm kidding. Kendra was great. Okay, so here we go. Brad, are you ready? Let's go. All right, one, two, three, four. Boom, 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 boom. Someone told me long ago there's a calm before the storm. I know it's been coming. Stop, uh... 
the second to the last song uh, which makes this next one the last song and real quick uh, one second I have to uh, change the drums right back to what they were just a moment ago so I'll be right back Song. So don't forget about the uh, a cappella, um, the collaboration um, show next week. That's going to be a lot of fun. We'll try to have Brad back again sometime on a yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, I'll, on a Wednesday. I'll drive down for Wednesday night. <laughs> <laughs> and then 10 hours back. Charla, that's right. Talk amongst yourselves. Um, Charlotte, if you don't know Charlotte, Charlotte is going to be um, at uh, the Memphis um, ukulele. Memphis ukulele jamboree um, in Memphis. That's Pete, Petey Max, Pete McCarty's uh, festival up in Memphis. And Charlotte is going to be one of the acts there performing, which is amazing, Charlotte. Okay, um, let's come here. Oh, I didn't have that quite ready. Now I have it ready. All right, so on the road again. We're gonna do this with drums. Hopefully I have the right drum pattern and drum tempo. Yeah. Ready? Here we go. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four.
can't wait to get on that road again. The life I love is making music with my friends. I can't wait to get on the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Yes! Hey, that one bad chord you probably heard, that was me. I looked over at Brad and uh, I don't know what I, I was thinking. No, it was me. I, it was me. Oh. I'll take the, I'll confess. Um, hey everybody, uh, music is a wonderful thing and it's just fantastic that we can do this on Wednesdays. I know I went a little longer than eight, but uh, we're pretty close. Um, so thank you, uh, all the folks I thanked before, um, Terry and Sharla and uh, Katie and uh, Michael August. Um, had a blast um, with you. Everyone else that I got to see up in, uh, in uh, Pennsylvania, it was just uh, fantastic. Amy, nice job. Chrissy, ukulele, check her out on uh, Facebook, Instagram, all of those things, YouTube. Um, just look for Chrissy, ukulele. And thanks to my in-person uh, talent. And my cousin Greg. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh, that was fun. The real talent. That was fun. Um, Y'all, um, next Wednesday collaboration show, 7 o'clock Wednesday. Tell your friends. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're going to play some really good music and uh, just have a great time. So take care. Um, enjoy the rest of your week. Have a wonderful weekend. And uh, we'll see you next Wednesday. Good night, everybody. Ciao. <laughs>